In 1935, with the dedication of the Hoover Dam, the dream of hydroelectricity was brought to the desert. Lake Mead was born. Over the next 50 or so years, the lake provided recreational activities to millions of Americans, their friends, their families, as they came to the lake in the desert to have fun. But in 1983, after the lake reached its maximum peak height, there was a problem. The water started to drop. At first, people weren't alarmed. But 39 years have gone by since then, and lake levels have continued to drop year after year, especially over the last 20 years. Officials sounded the alarm on something that might put at risk the power that is supplied by Lake Mead to 40 million Americans, the water that is supplied by Lake Mead to 25 million Americans, including seven different states and even other countries like Mexico. But why did this problem start? What happened with the weather and what led to this rapid decrease? We talked to the National Weather Service in Las Vegas for more. As recently as 2000, we actually had a lake that was nearly at bankful, but the past two decades now have had consistent drought and consistently low snowpack within the Colorado River Basin. Droughts are very impactful and it goes beyond what people sometimes realize because it's not just lack of water, but it's how that lack of water influences the environment. Not only do we have less water, but we have more wildfires and we potentially, when we do get water, sometimes it comes all at once, so it's, it's floods. So, there's definitely an extreme to having drought that goes beyond just the lack of water. But the drought conditions weren't the only thing that led to Lake Mead's problems. Too much water going out and not enough water being returned continued to push the lake levels lower. I'm standing at what used to be the bottom of the lake and many hazards have shown up since the water has receded like this shipwreck behind me. Even today, Owners of boats trying to come out and enjoy the lake's beauty are still running into problems just launching their boat, yet alone navigating the waters. We talked with one owner about what he's been going through. It's, it's really bad, it's really bad. We don't, we don't come out here at all often anymore, but it impacts a lot. Because you, know, you invest, lack of better words, put money into a, a boat to enjoy with your family, and then if you can't use it. And you see the drop, what are we, 150 feet down? Mm -hmm. I mean, this lake is not small, it's a big lake. You know, I mean, I have to drive, an hour and a half to go to the river where there's actually water where you can launch it or, or two or three hours further. So as visitors and locals from across the land continue to deal with the headaches of the lower lake levels, people from around the world are wondering, will Lake Mead continue to produce power at its current levels? Will Lake Mead be able to produce water to as many people as it has the last 20 years? Those questions are yet to be seen, but some people are optimistic about the future. We talked with the president of the local marina about what Lake Mead still has to offer. There's still lots of opportunity to go out on the water, lots of opportunity to use, use the water and, ha and see a beautiful lake. We definitely need to conserve, and this is everybody's business, not, not just people that come to Lake Mead. It's everybody's business in the, in the Western United States. We need to figure out how to use water. So many are still optimistic about this Great Lakes future. In fact, in July, lawmakers passed a $500 million aid package to help lakes along the Colorado River get back to normal. But what can you do to help? You can visit Lake Mead, bring your family here, go to a restaurant, rent a boat. And if you don't live in the area, if you're in the West in general, limit your water consumption. Take showers instead of baths. Water your yard less. We can all do our part to help preserve this valuable natural resource. For Weather Nation reporting outside Boulder City, Nevada, I'm Ben McMillan.